What's up, everybody? Um, I am in the middle of racking a Daihatsu Move. Uh, this is a friend of mine's uh, Daihatsu Move. Uh, we're gonna wrap it in matte green. Um, that is not why I'm making this video right now. I am making this video because if you have a Daihatsu Move that looks like this one, I don't know the year. I had I don't know anything about it. Um, this is literally the first time I've stepped foot into it. Um, just haven't had time to work on it. Finally getting some time to do some stuff. So I'm prepping it uh, to wrap it. And in order to prep a car to wrap it, you gotta remove um, parts. Uh, tail lights, headlights, uh, mirrors, all that good stuff. So if you have a Daihatsu move and you got a burnout tail light or um, uh, turn signal, because the reverse light is in the bumper, um, if it's a tail light, brake light or a turn signal um, this is going to help you out on replacing that bolt because I'm removing the whole thing right now so I'm going to show you how to do it so if your Daihatsu move light looks just like that one uh, then you're in luck it's going to help you out so first what you're going to need is a 10 millimeter bolt a 10 millimeter bolt a 10 millimeter socket I actually picked up this handy dandy uh, little sub impact um, rigid from Home Depot for a hundred bucks. So if you watch my other videos, you heard me talk, not really talk crap, but it was just like, ah, I don't need no little impact. Man, this thing is amazing for $99 too. Could not beat it. So uh, you're gonna need a 10 millimeter socket to remove the two 10 millimeter bolts holding it. The, uh, light. So you're going to have to open up the hatch to get to the one here. Kind of open it up all the way. And that's going to release, that's going to let you get that 10 millimeter bolt out of there. Just gotta set that aside, and then your two, your ten millimeter up on top. So now that you have those two ten mils out, um, you're probably gonna be like, "Oh man, it's still stuck in there." Yes, it is still stuck in there. Um, it is now being held in there by. Uh, they're like two prongs. Uh, actually, let's see. <clears throat> One, two, three. Three prongs. They're like little tips, kind of like a male and a female. So it's being held in. So you just kind of gently twist out, kind of twist away from the car a little bit, and then you'll feel it pop. And then once it pops, then you can uh, gently. Then you can gently pull it away from the car. And there you go. Now you have access to all your bolts, your brake lights and your turn signal bolts. And those are just your normal, typical twist in the socket. Light bulb twists out, says right on it, lock, arrow. So yeah, that's how you take that off. And then I'm actually gonna take these things off completely because I'm gonna wrap this thing. So I just, I'm gonna undo all the wiring and then set these aside and then we're gonna actually um, restore these and then uh, wrap them. So they'll, they'll look pretty chick. Chick? Pretty trick. So yeah, that's how you, if you're wondering how to change bulb on your, the rear tail lights on your Daihatsu move, that's how you do it. And the reverse light, that's super easy. That's just two Phillip head screws and take the light cover off and you're right to the bulb. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's all I really know right now about the move. So uh, more stuff to come as I'm taking parts off to kind of help you out if uh, you're confused on how to take certain things off your move. So uh, yeah, cool. Take it easy, guys.